There are a lot of things that frankly I wish were different about the admin panel for WordPress, but one of them is definitely the media library. It just seems really disorganized. I've got over 4,000 files in my media library and it's just big one big long scrolling list. Well, let's talk about how to organize that thing because I, you know, this is a plugin I just I didn't just find it. I found it over a year ago, but like a lazy person, I was like, ah, I'll check this thing out later. Well, I came across it again on a client site and I was reminded of it and I checked it out, went ahead and put it on my site and this thing actually really, really helps. Let me tell you about it. Okay, that plugin is called Filebird, okay? And uh, it's free in the media, or sorry, in the plugin directory for WordPress. Now it does have a pro version and I went ahead and purchased it because I thought it was definitely worth it. Um, it's available over on in uh, Envato um, and it's $39 and that's a lifetime plan. Now you get one year of support with it, but basically you have lifetime updates it looks like. Um, and so it seemed like a pretty good deal, pretty much a no brainer. I went ahead and did it. Um, but it is called Filebird. You can search it up in the uh, plugin directory right inside of WordPress and install the free version and check out what it does. But let me show it to you right in the back end of the Blog Marketing Academy itself. Here's the media library. Now, I've just installed this like a couple of hours ago, so it's not as if I've got a big pile of folders here, but you can see that essentially. It puts a folder structure right into the WordPress media library um, where I can organize these things as I see fit. And this is really helpful because as you can see, I've got over 4,000 files in the media library. And typically they just look like this and you're just sort of scrolling through this stuff. And, and, and God forbid if you did not actually take proper care when you upload these files to your media library, a lot of times finding what you need is really hard. Like you know that file is sitting there in your media library, but you just can't find the darn thing. Um, and even though I know how to organize my media library with proper file names and putting titles on the images and stuff so that I can search for it properly, I'm kind of lazy and I didn't do it most of the time. So the thing is on our computers, we use these folder structures all the darn time and it just makes it easy. Like I've got icons like these that I use on the site. Well, why can't I just create a, a folder and just call it icons and then they show up. I'm going to create another one for logos, um, various feature images that I'm going to be using across the site. So what I'm going to do now that I've got the thing installed is I'm going to spend a little bit of time. I'm going to organize this thing. Uh, I'm going to create folders for individual posts because that way I can group things together from posts that I've written uh, and just sort of categorize things so that I can more easily find stuff. Um, but this is all put in here by Filebird. Um, you can right click on these. I can change icon colors on any of these folders. I can download the folders if I please. I've got ability to rename it, cut it, move it around, uh, delete the folder, of course. Um, you've got various sorting options. You've got some settings up here. For example, I can create a default startup folder. So if I want really fast access access to a certain set of my files. Anytime I open up the image insert uh, window from, uh, from the block editor, um, I can pick that folder and I can make that my default. Um, I can choose my, uh, my sort method that's automatically done. Uh, by the way, each folder has the ability to uh, to control certain settings for it. It's actually really handy. Of course, adding a new folder is really easy. It's I also like the fact that it's integrated in with, the, with keyboard shortcuts. So you don't have to actually come and hit save. You could just say test and just hit enter. Uh, if you want to click another, do a subfolder, just hit new folder and say test, you know, whatever the heck you want. Um, you can move these things around really easy just by grabbing an image and just dragging it. Um, and then there it is. It's in that folder. Um, I, I have the breadcrumbs turned on right now, but this is all optional. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really intuitive. And the other thing is it's a very streamlined plugin. The actual zip file that I installed was only 1.2 megabytes. It's not big. It does not slow down the interface in any way, shape or form. Frankly, this should have just been built right into WordPress. It's, it feels really native. Okay. One thing is that it does have a setting screen. I can show it to you. There's not a whole lot there because it, it just doesn't have a lot to do. Um, 
you know, you you can each, well, this is kind of cool. If you have a multi-author site, you can actually let each one of your authors have their own folder structure for images so they can organize things as they see fit. That's pretty handy. I don't have it turned on because I'm the only author for this site. Uh, I showed you that I've got the breadcrumbs turned on, but if that's not handy for you, you just toggle it. If you don't want it to show counts of how many files are in individual folders, you can, you know, or you can control that. And then you got various themes. Like I've got it on this Dropbox theme right now, but if I go in and go over to the default and I'll save it, okay, and then I, let's go back over to the media library again. It just has a slightly different interface, okay? And that's it. It's just a preference thing, no big deal, all right? Now, over here, if we go over to the tools, it does have an API. I don't, don't really know why you'd use that yet, but you do have remote access to your folder structure. Um, and uh, the clear all data option is probably not something you'll ever use, but it is handy if you want to test out this plugin, and but you want to eventually uninstall it, remove all traces of it. They've got that built in. And then, of course, you can import and export your folder structure as well. So that's basically FileBird in a nutshell. Once you've got those options in there, then when you're editing posts, it shows up in the interface. Um, I've got the pro version, so it shows up inside of Elementor, and it just does what it's supposed to do. Okay, so that's the FileBird plugin. Now I want to note too that this is obviously not the only game in town. Uh, there are several other plugins out there that can do the same thing. Some of them with some additional little bells and whistles. I do like the interface of FileBird better and it also looked like when I did some searching for this that FileBird seemed like it was the most popular one out there. Um, I don't know why I wasn't using it before, frankly, but um, there are other options out there you can check out. Some of them have some additional capabilities, but essentially Actually, they all sort of do the same thing. Um, the one I happened to pick up was Filebird. I'm going to use it. It looks it looks like it's going to make my job easier. Like I said, the pro version adds a few additional bells and whistles, including um, integration with all the various page builders and stuff like that. And uh, $39 solves a problem one time, sold. It's that simple. All right, see you later.